234 people visit the Study Jam site every day. Zoe wants to round the number 234 to the nearest 10. I bet if she puts the numbers on a number line, she'll have no problem. Let's show Zoe how to round it out, step by step. First, replace the digit in the ones place with a zero to find one number that may be the nearest 10, 230. The next 10 is 240. Which one is closer? 234 is greater than 230 and less than 240. It falls between those two tens. Now we have to figure out which ten is the nearest. Is it 230 or 240? To find out, we'll make a number line that goes from 230 to 240. Use a ruler to draw a line. Label the left end of the line 230, then put 240 at the right end of the line. Mark the line with the numbers in between. See? 234 is almost in the middle, but not quite. Okay, now count the marks on the number line. Choose one direction to count first. If we start at 234 and count to 230, we see that it's four places away. Then, count in the next direction. If we count from 234 to 240, we see that it's six places away. Next, compare the number of places it took to get to 230 and the number of places it took to get to 240. So let's compare. Since 4 is less than 6, 234 is closer to 230 than it is to 240. Now Zoe has her answer. When you round 234 to the nearest 10, you get 230. About 230 people visit the Study Jam site every day. Nice! Uh-oh! Zoe got 2,650 points last month on the Study Jam site. This time around, let's show her how to round up to the nearest thousand using place value. Since we're rounding to the nearest thousand, we'll start by looking at the digit to the right of the thousands place in our number. The thousands place is the 2, and the digit to the right of it is a 6. Since we're rounding to the nearest thousand, we'll start by looking at the digit to the right of the thousands place in our number. We know that 6 is greater than 5, so what's next? If the digit to the right of the thousands place is greater than or equal to 5, then you add 1 to the digit in the thousands place. If not, you leave the thousands place alone. Either way, you replace all the digits to the right of the thousands place with zeros. Since 6 is greater than 5, we need to add 1 to the digit in the thousands place of our number. Replace all the rest of the digits with zeros. That makes 3,000. So now we know the score. When you round 2,650 to the nearest thousand, you get 3,000. Now Zoe can estimate with ease. Test your skills by rounding this number to the nearest thousand. 